In this episode, we visit the new pet lounge on the Dover to Calais ferry. We experience road rage in a French car park. Oh! Where are you going, you silly woman? Do we? And you! Um... And Mrs. Slaw is quite taken by Claude Monet oh, in the Jardin de Personnalité. Claude Monet, a perfect place for him as well to recreate his painting there of the water lilies. So come along with us and enjoy our adventures on France. Good morning. Good morning. Where the hell are we off today, Mrs. Slaw? So exciting. It's the start of our early summer holiday. We're up and at it bright and early and we're off to catch the ferry, Dover to Calais. We've got a pet friendly lounge, so we'll show you what that's like today. Never done that before, it's quite a new thing. And um, we're then going to be heading down to Montfleur um, to stay in a huge air, which we've stayed in before, um, and hopefully have a nice meal out this evening. So, come along with us and enjoy our adventures. Let's go! Looks like a bit of a queue here. Yeah, we've never queued from down here before. Good morning. <laughs> oh, shh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely tart. Do you know which one you want first? Okay. Mr. Grumpy first then. Oh, that one's Billy. And that's Jessie, thank you. Thank Great. You. Thank you very much, bye bye. Thank you. 210. So that's how easy it is um, when you're doing the ferry as opposed to the tunnel. They give you the chip reader, you read the dog, they check it against the chip, and that's it. So don't forget, Billy and Jessie um, have Northern Ireland EU passports. We got those last year um, on our way down to the Wild Atlantic Way. So we're all checked in. Let's go and find our lane slot and uh, do what we've got to do. Uh, let's, let's go! go. <laughs> ah. Grass in your beard. Where have you been this morning? Time to get the doggies out. Billy and Jessie travel really, really well in these Kurgo car seats. They hang off the headrests and are strapped in with the seatbelt um, and your dog fastens on a harness. Here, you can see that. And these are Kurgo harnesses as well. They don't particularly like um, walking with these on though, so we take the harnesses off and put the collars back on. Here we go. One out. And we just got these from Pets at Home, both the seats and the harnesses. Um, but you see how they, they love travelling in these. Right, you can lift her out please, Slaw, because she's heavy. Come on, big girl. Come on, little Trying to find some grass for dogs to have a tiddles, like. <laughs> in a concrete find jungle. rocking horse manure. Our boat's not in yet. No. We don't go for about an hour. Hey. Oh. You have to check in an hour and a half before, uh, check-in closes an hour before, and you board half an hour before. Uh, three quarters of an hour, half an hour before? Yes. We're walking to France. Do you want this in the motorhome or in the bin? Bin. Right, that's where you go in then. Where's the bin? Oh, where's the wheelie bin? <laughs> there, look, loads of them. Which way? Come on, move. Cleaning my windscreen. Full of detritus. Handy thing with these Ducatos is you can, uh, you can just get on wheel. Like so. Just don't fall off. While Slaw's doing that, I'll just tell you about the, um, the crit air. You can see there, we've got our crit air sticker in the van and we are uh, class two. France brought out uh, a new low emission zone, I think it's called, um, a few years ago now. And 
you have to display your sticker so that they can see what uh, class you are because in some places places like Paris and uh, I think Grenoble is one of them uh, the ones that are the dirtiest emissions are not allowed to travel at certain times through those cities and um, so we're not sure where we're going to be traveling um, for the second part of this holiday so we thought we'd better get a Critair sticker just in place dead easy to do do it from the official site and I'll put the link in the description and it only costs three or four euros I think actually and it, it gets posted out to you um, so don't do it from anywhere other than the link that I put in the description because there are some unscrupulous websites out there who will try and charge you a lot more money um, for the benefit of them ordering it for you something else that you um, that you'll see a lot when you're abroad are these Angles Mort stickers We don't need those on Helga because Helga is only three and a half ton, so we, we don't need those. We're carrying on board um, high-vis jackets, warning triangles. Interestingly, we haven't got the breathalysers anymore because the law has been postponed indefinitely to carry them. Um, they are still recommended, but they're not required, um, so that's your choice of whether you have those or not. So I think we're, we're getting pretty much France ready now. Oh, the other thing is we've got the beam defenders, uh, defenders, benders, <laughs> the beam benders as well, um, which um, are required in France. There you go. And today's pilot is Miss Jessie Law. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? Cheeky monkey. I'm just going to put some more air in me uh, airbags for getting up ferry just so I don't catch the uh, bike rack because it does sit a bit low I'll we'll just uh, take it up to about three I think there we go, just over three that should have took us up a little bit well we can't get any more further forward <laughs> than that. No. Top of the shop. Top right. of the shop. Come on, babies. That's it. Follow the paws. The paw prints. Here we are. Look at this. Wow. Isn't this nice? Hey. Eh? This one. Yeah. We're at back at the but it doesn't matter, does yeah, it? Yeah, look. Water. Look, that dog is not doing it. Why are you doing it? Uh, with complimentary hot and cold drinks for pet owners. Tickets can be purchased in the pet lounge. This is great. Just out of that door there, you're straight into the food court. So you can bring your food in here as well. So this is your little kitchenette. You've got a vending machine there, um, but as you've seen, we've just had a poor breakfast. There is complimentary tea, coffee, and also uh, water and um, cans of Coke, that looks like. Mm -hmm. oh, I think this is absolutely cracking. Six pound per dog per crossing. Great. Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? <laughs> Je voudrais un grand billet, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, how did they get up there? Sorry? How did they get there? They went on first. I told you I'd seen trucks going up there. Then they must have shut the doors. Yeah. We know what we're doing. The second week, we have no idea, so there's nothing 
plan, but I do. Not to let you down, folks. I have a colour coordinated map. You're always going to have something, haven't you? Yeah. You can't ride by the seat of your pump. Slow would be just in and gone. Oh, do you want me to close the map book and you just find yeah, your own way there? Yeah, that's not a problem. I'll just do this. Follow the sun. It's all we're doing. Okay. Beyond the sea. Woo! Cool. Cool. There is. Smack a bomb bomb just for you, Terry, Mr. Jenner. France with us before. We came down the blue motorway from Calais down to Bologna. The blue motorway you don't pay for. We're now on the purple one, and that's the payage. So you saw five picked a ticket, and when we come off the purple, the payage, then I put the ticket in and pay for travelling on that section. Is this going to cost us money? It's my purse. This is a, a Sanef auto route. You can get a tag, so you just drive through, and then it bills you automatically. Um, but we come so infrequently, we just don't think it's worth bothering with that. We just pick a ticket and pay. Why else do we not have an automatic where we just drive through? Because you won't let me. Because I can't crack you your pot. If we've got a taggy thing. Okay, tag thing. we'll stop there. Cut. Here we go. Trying not to take the mirror off. Stop. You bit it. <laughs> I'll bit it. I'll bit it because I'm getting excited about Smaggy Bum Bum. Top, slow stop tip. Still looking at Mrs. Slow. Oh, where am I going now? Here, 28. Blue one. Yeah. I have a view. Nope, nope, blue one. Right. Is, uh, don't crash into machine. Well, you're looking at smacky bum bum. Oh, You've only just had a huge breakfast. How oh, ages ago? I'll just stop for a snack then, won't I? Man can't live on a full breakfast alone. Huh? We've not been to the French supermarket yet. I had worth driving hungry and thirsty. So it's the first time now on it, the little roads after coming off ferry, innit? Yeah, we're just having a detour to pick up some diesel. This blog book sat nav is really good because all you do is you just pull off the, the route that you've got in and uh, it says reason for detour and you can select petrol and it's just routing us now straight to the petrol station. Church. Yeah. Oh, it's a is it? So you've got to pay by card here. Yep, card. Okay, pay by card. Right. So we just put 100 euros in. Uh, 60.42 litres at 165 an hour per litre. So I don't know what that equates to in English. Money, probably about. 150 a litre, so not cheap. I think France is a bit dearer from what I've seen. Oh! oh doing? Where are you going, you silly woman? Doing? And oh, you! I love yours. We have supplies. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. Oh, there's a god. I'm going to get one. Good up to me. Fine enough. Is it a toll to get over this? Yeah. Bonjour. Merci. Merci. Au revoir.
Bonjour. They're just tiny cables. <laughs> it's a bit slack. Do these screens look? Okay, look. I've just paid at the machine twelve euros for twenty-four hours. So Slaw's just getting the cab sorted. So that's twenty-four hours. So we can go tomorrow at this time if we wanted. If we wanted to, yeah. Oh yeah. Now look at that. Just slide to the side, Slaw. Look at that for a view. So we're going to close now. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. That's lovely. Beautiful. We'll be frying if we don't put these on. Yep. The machine's dead easy to work. Um, even if you don't speak French, it's pretty self-explanatory. And you can pay by card or cash. And um, they give you a little ticket to stick in your windscreen, which I have done. And you can also get um, a bank receipt as well if needed. Find a chair. Great thing to have. 14 litre plastic watering can. Topping your water up if you can't get your van there. Hey? Having a shower. Hey? Having a shower. Oh. Not mean I need to have one as well. Yeah, we can bring out the tea. Alright, yeah, yeah. It's been filling water, haven't it? Oh, that's good, thank you. For you. Thank you. I won't show them anymore. <laughs> yes. What's wrong now? This is your air at Enfleur. We're at the bottom end, so you can see down there. And we've got the lovely view over the inlet there. And there's quite a few people come out tonight and as I've been sat outside I've heard corks popping. How civilised! <laughs> so at this end here you've got the uh, the services. So you've got your, your vidange which is your grey drop, you've got your cassette which is your black drop and you've got your fresh water. There are electric points. Um, Excuse the wind. <laughs> There are electric points, but the uh, ones nearest us are all taped up, so we thought we'd give that one a miss. You never know, do you? Probably blow me van. <laughs> so we're now heading up towards the entrance, uh, and the air carries on right over the other side. It's huge. Yeah, and although you're not supposed to put chairs out, and we did, they've got canopies out, they've got chairs out. <laughs> yeah, it's not the done thing. No, nobody gives a... No, do Italy, it's I not think. the done thing on a French air to uh, put chairs out and certainly not canopies out but um, most people have got chairs out and quite a few have got canopies out. <laughs> we thought we'd do the same and we put our chairs out as well. It's more like a campsite, isn't it? <laughs> well, that side has got no marked out pictures and I don't think they have either. Um, but where we are, it's definitely there's um, pieces of wood to show you how big your pitch should be. Yeah, that one's got lines there. Put your chairs out to stop people parking next to you. <laughs> yeah, or your canopy. Yes, you Hello. Yes. All right, mate. Yes. I'm, I'm good. Care, good. How are you? All right, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I know, I know. Hello, Kev. Hello, Lovely Anna. to meet you. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> we wouldn't care for Melly out. She'd be a nice. Oh, All right, my love. Hello. <laughs> Lovely uh, to see you. You too. <laughs> she is, yeah. She's uh, yeah. So Come on, get up. We're on holiday. Sleep.
Good morning. Good morning. Morning, Jessie. Snooze you lose, Daddy. Get out of my seat. Mm. Oh. Cracking morning. It's lovely. <clears throat> and it was a really peaceful night's sleep on this air as well. Um, people don't tend to surface early in France, which is very nice. Slow were up early. Yeah, you were, but I didn't hear anybody else. There weren't. There were nobody when nobody. I took dogs. No. And Not that like. was... Well, that quarter to eight? Quarter to eight, yeah. yeah. Not a soul. And then yeah. by five past eight, they were like ants coming out of them. Yeah. Ant hill. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be Everywhere. a bit of an eight o'clock up. Yeah, up and off ski. Well, <laughs> some of them. Suits me fine. So, you ready for some breakfast then, Slow? Yep. We've got Feed some uh, French pastries and OJ. Beautiful. Yogurt? Beautiful. Yeah. Give it to me, baby. Lovely. Right. Oh, God. Can you get up now? No. <laughs> <coughs> a pan of chocolate. Croissant. What's that one? Viennese. Viennese? Mm, a swirl. And yoghurt. I'm going to be sugared up here. Mm. Oh. You've got pastry hanging off your little bottom lip. Like. Right, let's go have a wonder, yeah? What do you say? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Only B. Yeah? Really? You know, on 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 V? On Eva. Oh, on Eva. On Eva. <laughs> yeah, me, Lee can't tell you when he's going to do it. Oh, don't you know? No. I'm going to grab him out of his bloody cab. <laughs> really? Violence? <laughs> well, <laughs> no <Well>. camera. <laughs> he's scared, all of us. Scared me and all. <laughs> it's a good job you said that, otherwise I might have had to have a word with him. <laughs> <laughs> This is an alcohol-free morning, isn't it? You make us sound like we're alcoholics. We don't drink in the morning. I had, I had three, <laughs> I had three halves last night when we went out. That was it. Oh, hardcore slop. Hardcore slop. Oh, we have to say what a cracking evening we had last night with Tracy and Kev from Yorkshire Motor <laughs> Rovers. Yep, cracking dude. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so pleased to meet you both at last, even though. Um, you know, we hail from the same part of the world. Yeah. So, and enjoy your onward travels. We're going to get run over. Yes. <laughs> there were lots of these windy, coggy things. Yeah, they'll be... They would have, they would have been cable around it somewhere, yeah. wouldn't they? To wind White the boat in. I don't know whether you can see this, but at the back of the big wheel, you can just see part of the um, Pont de Normandie, the bridge that we came over yesterday. And they do do boat trips out under the bridge. Um, we're not doing it this time. Last time we came, we did the, the boat trip and we had a great time. We do recommend it. Um, but uh, after our stroll around town this morning, we're off on the next part of our adventures. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 16 euros for adults, nine for children. I do believe the dogs were free. 
And there's your boat. Where they sold it lots. Ancient ancient shops for salt. So this maybe this was like a, a, a market, salt market. Wow. And it contained ten million kilos of salt, this building. Wow. Is that way it's corroded. Oh well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like this building here. Gosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mulier means muscle. Oh hello. Um I didn't realise I was talking to camera. Uh, Moulier means muscle gatherers. I didn't know that. And are they the muscle gatherers there? Yeah, yeah, it's a statue of them. Yeah. Mm. Believing the road. It always fascinates me as to how each one of those buildings is a different height. They're just all higgledy piggledy. Awesome, isn't it? It is. Absolutely. I don't understand why either. Why they're all different. Perhaps somebody might know. <laughs> if you do, drop us a comment below. I think, right? No, I think you like cold water swimming, so <laughs> I think if you just go down there. No. You could have a swim. No, no. Harbours have detritus, and that's got detritus. It's a big cat. It's a Leo. so you can, you need to. Yeah, you can get down there that you can, but so I think we. Exhibitions around this way, I think. Mm. Oh, look at the lily pad. Oh, lovely. There he is, Claude Monet. This is just uh, absolutely stunning. And what a perfect place for him as well to recreate his painting there of the water lilies. Oh, he was a Dutch artist, this one. A Ooh. friend of Boudin. Yeah, a friend of Boudin and Monet. Leon Leclerc. Ah, oh, Charles's uh, relative. Well, he was born in Honfleur and he died in Honfleur. I've just done with me air ride, my air suspension is. I've blown it up to two bar and then I've let this side down, my left side. And what what that's done, it's allowed it to uh, tip. And I'm getting more water out of my waist tank. What a good do. If it's not level, you can... Stupid 
Have you got shorts on today? I have. That's no good for still smack it on, won't it? Oh it's good ass. Oliver. Is that it? That's it. That's the end of our adventures in Odler. Um, thank you for coming with us on the ferry and on the first part of our French adventures this year. We're heading off now down to uh, Pont Orson and we're going to visit uh, Mont Saint Michel tomorrow. So stick around and join our adventures tomorrow. So for today, that's all. Until next time, friends. Bye. Bye. Bye.